Hey guys, Ketchup Puppy here, and today I've decided to do another REC Me tutorial. So, in the comment section of my last video, you guys will be experiencing a whole load of gimme cracks and problems. For example, it says REC Me lags out my tablet, and then my tablet shuts off and reboots. I hate this. But this could be just a result from your tablet being older than what's recommended. And uh, you also want to know what my resolution and settings I use. I struck, for example, like no new nails and asked me that. There is also how do you record the audio of your game you're playing. And you also want to know how I use it. Well, so this might be a long video, long than usual, but all you, if you have already seen me, you click on it and I will show you the settings that I use. So, I go to file recording power for storage, emulated zero recordings, and if you want good quality, you have to go to MP4 if you want to upload. You can have a start countdown, um, but I don't, I just roll with it. Um, and if you enable uh, controls widget, as you will see, the uh, widget has disappeared from the right hand side of my screen. If I turn it back on, the widget comes back up again. And then you could select the location, so it's like the left to the screen, the right to the screen, bottom, there's bottom right. It, there's just loads of options where you can have your like screen recorder, like your screen widget. And you can move it around freely if you don't like the position. Now, you can have an inbuilt camera overlay, which is like, which is the camera on my tablet. And... You can also choose your audio source, which is the audio, which is under audio preferences. Now you click on this, and hopefully, if you have an automatic microphone already stuck in your tablet, like test it with your camera, record a video. If you can hear your voice, then it has a microphone. If you do have a microphone in your tablet, you just go to your audio source. So that's it. It's on none. You click on audio source, and you click on microphone. This records your voice. And then encoding by tree, I don't know what this means, so I just left it at 64 uh, kibits or kbytes, whatever you say. And the quality of my video is 384p. I can't get it higher than that, otherwise my tablet, the tablet screen goes all diagonal, and you can't see what I'm doing. Again, leave the by tree alone if you don't know what it does. I don't. I just put it in max, hopefully, so that it's hopefully a really good quality video. And the max frame rate, you could change this from like 30, 0 frames per second, frame rates per second, the maximum is 60. So, force landscape display, this option can be used when you want to force display to always be with landscape resolution. So, if you always want to um, force landscape display, that means it will always be in landscape, no matter which way you touch it, tilt your tablet. Excuse me. And then you have to show touches. These bring up the white, you see the white circle? That's my finger. So that bring, turns them off and on. And let's move on to advanced settings. So things like reverse colors and fixed abnormal rotation aren't really my style, so I just leave them alone. And background recording is when you want to record. And um, even after you quit, like, quit the app. So it's always available. So, if you look at my settings, these are what I use. And the crashing problem that, what was his name? The crashing problem that GMD Gamer has said, well, unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. Mine works perfectly, but my, my tablet, if I show you, let me see, settings, let me just click on these and all. It's all to do with the version of the game, of the tablet you have. So, for example, mine is a Fire 5th generation, which is actually, which is very, very new, I think, or new enough for this app to work. And if it's rooted, if your device is rooted, you need, da, 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 stick my tongue in, if you, you need to root your device for this app. If you can't root your device or don't know how to, I wouldn't suggest this app. But these are my settings, so if you guys want to have a quick look through or pause the video, then you may have a look and change your REC me recorder as you wish. Transparency is like, keep your eye on the widget, keep your eye on the widget, like, on the bottom of the screen. This is transparency 80, 
this is 20%, and the lower you go, the more, the less transparent it gets, but if I go to like, say, 100%, you can't see the widget. I always have it at 80, personally, so it's not so obvious that people point it out, and it's not enough to distract me from recording. So things like including format, resolution, I always keep, like, it should automatically match your resolution with your tablet screen. If it doesn't, you need to adjust it as simple as you can. So basically, just record a sample video. Don't ask about all them. I tried all those recorders, I can't get them to work. So just record a sample video, stop the video, and then go to, go to your video. Like, for me, it would be Amazon Prime. So it would be here, Prime Photos. Go to your photos and watch the video. If your screen is all diagonally, that means you need to just change your resolution. So you need to test all the resolutions it offers, and hopefully you'll find one that matches your tablet screen. But if you don't like crappy video quality, then this app really isn't for you. So this is my settings. And if you want to use it, all you have to do is, personally for easy recording, I press enable controls widget and I just change the transparency and the location. Or if you want to record your face over the top, I think you press this. But with me, I don't like to record using the camera because it, it just looks weird otherwise. Encoding by traits, you just leave as it is, otherwise you're going to mess up your recording entirely and it will save your settings. So, for example, if I say messed up my settings, I have this button up here, which is a sort reset settings so you can reset them to default. I'm going to click no because I don't need to reset my, um, <clears throat> I don't need to reset my settings as I find my settings perfect. So if you guys have a, like, pause the video every once in a while, I'll give you a couple seconds to look at these. <clears throat> Alright, then I'll let you have a look at these. And then this is the camera preferences. I always had that off, but if you would like to turn it on, just click it. And it'll turn on. Microphone, you should be able to just click on audio source. So it should say none. Click audio source and then just click microphone if you have one on your tablet. If not, you can't record voice. Uh, encoding by trade, leave as is, because otherwise you'll mess it up. Resolution change so that it matches your screen and how much your tablet or mobile device can handle. Encoding by trades, please put it at max, I don't know if this impacts the quality, but please don't mess about it too much or you could just mess up the entire video quality. Max frame rate, you could just change that as you wish, mine 60, but 13 frames and 42, you can have all sorts of values. I always keep it at 60. Wall sound scale, ape display, I'm just going to turn that off. Auto rotate so that it rotates with your device, like this, for example. So, these are my settings. If you guys would like to copy these settings, that's perfectly fine by me. I have no copyright issues with that. Um, not that I should have any issues with it. But things like this, you just gotta roll with. Just have a play, see what, see what works, what doesn't. And just might have fun with it, really. Just look, see what does what. Experiment, do like little test videos. But if you're not confident enough with this screen recorder to record, like, say, 15 minute, 20 minute videos if your channel's verified, then please don't use this recorder. Because if you're not confident with speaking to your tablet, which would, my microphone would be at the camera, obviously, but if you're not comfortable with like these settings or you have no clue, either click this video or just have a play. But don't play with the encoding by traits or the encoding formats or by traits and all that. Because otherwise you'll just mess up the entire thing. Trust me, I tried. Um, but yeah, this is these are my settings. This is how you use it. Um, I'm not an expert. I've only been using this recorder for a couple months, but I find it really good personally. But if you guys want um, like more info on this I suggest you go find other videos by professionals who know what they're doing because I'm just a youtuber I don't know what I don't know all the things there is to know if you get what I mean so yeah these are my settings and I hope you guys enjoy using this recorder
Again, if your tablet crashes or re and reboots and, tu and turns off and reboots, I can't help you with that. That just means you probably don't have the latest, the version that is recommended for this recorder, basically. So, there's preferences, there's my recordings, there's record to file. But if you don't have a rec the recommended, say, like, this tablet's probably, what, a couple years old now? Like, the version of it? If you don't have a new version of a tablet, you're more or less likely going to have it to crash. Say I had, like, a tablet for, like, way back in 20 2002. That would not work now. This screen recorder would just crash the tablet and it would just go to pieces. So, yeah. This, this is my... This, these are my settings, this is what I use, and I hope you guys enjoy using this. I hope you can get it to work. If you find me a bit too complicated or I don't make any sense, then just tell me in the comments and I'll try and write it out simply for you. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time.